All right, so this is going to be a pretty quick video about how you can use admin commands on your source mod Team Fortress 2 server. So if you haven't set up a source mod server, you can watch my first video. I'll link it in the description, which will show you how you can install source mod and also install other custom game mods like MGE. So let's get started. First of all, make sure your game is up to date. I mean the game server, obviously. All right. So next step is you can go into TF2 folder, TF add-ons, source mod, configs, and you need to edit this admins simple.ini. Now before editing, we need to know some information about how we can actually add admins. There's a link to a wiki that shows you how you can do this. So basically, what you need is, is your Steam ID. You can use this website to know what your Steam ID actually is. Now paste in here your Steam profile URL. You can find out by going to your name, profile and just copy the page URL. Now we got this Steam ID. So the next step is using the proper flags. So basically this flag will help you set the permissions for each user. The Z flags means that the user have each and every flag enabled like a super admin. First of all, we'll test the Z flag. Now we are editing the admins sample.ini. I'm gonna put in my Steam address. I'm gonna paste in here my Steam um, ID that we found from the website. I'm gonna put in 99. I'll explain what it is in a moment. And Z flag to know that I have all the commands. Now let's test the server. Alright, so if you want to open up your admin menu, you can do so by writing sm admin and there you go, you get all the commands. You can use this command to kick, slap, slay or ban a player. There's a lot of other commands over here. You can also use the console to have the same commands. All right, so now we gotta modify the um, admins flags. Before that, let's go into admin commands. You can also use these specific admin commands if you don't want to open up the uh, admin menu. As you can see these commands are very self-explanatory you can also read the description of what the each and every command actually does and these are some extended commands you most of them are not in the actual menu so you can you have to type these in the consoles for them to work and then there are these vote commands now basically you want an admin that only have access to votes so he can change the maps or kick someone but only do so using the votes for that we're gonna use is the um, the vote flag which is right here before that let's get into immunity um, about what this number is this number actually means that how much um, you can say what's what's the rank of that admin so if two admins have the exact same flags that means two admins can kick uh, other players the admin with immunity 2 will be able to kick the admin with immunity 1 but the admin with immunity 1 won't be able to kick the admin with immunity 2 so basically the admin with immunity 99 can kick majority of other admins 
So that's for the admin immunity number is four. We're gonna left it 99 over here, and we're gonna add the K command for voting. So this guy only have access to voting. So we're gonna remove the Z flag. Add K command over here. And next thing we're gonna do is also going to add the B flag too, which means a generic admin. So if you don't add the B command, he won't be able to open up the admin menu, which is quite convenient. So add in B. So we're gonna give him some flags like being able to kick out the players and being able to chain maps. So we're gonna go with C and G. So it's done. So if your server is already running, you're gonna have to type in this command to reload all the admins. If you don't want to restart your server, you can use this command to reload all the admins if you just made a changes to the admins file. Now my admin rights gonna be changed. So let's open up the admin menu over again. So there we go, I only have the access to kick an identity command. Here I can kick myself. I'll join my server again now. Now in terms of server commands, I have access to changing maps. So I can change the map of the server. Now basically, I am the only guy in the server, so that's why I get 100% voting. So as you can see, it's working. This is a simple way to access admin commands in source mode. I hope you liked the tutorial and it's pretty easy enough for you to follow. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.